Hey riders, yes, it's that time again. I can't believe it's Tuesday again. Back for another Muckers Worldwide race. This is the Tuesday night race. Uh, it'll be the uh, Yaka Challenge, Tour Down Under, Stage 5, Wollonga Hill. Let's have a little quick uh, browse at the, uh, the map here. I've got this pulled up so you can see it here. We are looking at 31.7 kilometers, 502 meters of climbing. It's kind of all in that one hill. So if we just sit down a smidge here, you can see that we start just on the, uh, the southern outskirts of Adelaide. And we're going to be going through a few little rolls. This is all through vineyards. You know, the number one crop here is obviously grapes for the wineries and the vineyards and stuff like that. Uh, world famous wine here, obviously. Roly, roly, poly stuff. Uh, the climb actually starts outside of Wollonga. There's a golf course there. And that's where the climb truly begins. Uh, it's pretty shallow at this point. But you're looking at more. The true Wollonga Hill climb is 3 kilometers at 7%. That's all it is. It starts at the old telegraph station inside the... Uh, I guess it would be maybe... Oh, it's, it's on the opposite side of Wollonga. We're going to pass through Wollonga. It's kind of like one of the last buildings on the way out of town. It's on the right-hand side. I'm going to point it out to you as we go by. I've looked at this really closely. I've seen lots of videos. I love this hill. But actually, in actuality, the climb is about five kilometers long. Uh, it's going to take you up to the top of the plateau. Hang a hard left at the top, which is actually the finish line at the uh, real world race. So that they would, they come across this kind of downhill -y, uh flat on the top, the plateau, and but they bomb down the other side. And we're going to finish before Wollonga. The pros would keep going around and do it one more time and finish at the top. I'll point this all out as we're doing it. Uh, here we go, folks. Uh, pretty sure I've got my little uh, taskbar thing fixed up. Here's a little IT tip for you. If you're ever dealing with that, right click on your taskbar, open the task manager, and at the top, you're going to see Windows Explorer. Just restart it. That'll make it think smart again so that when you go down to the bottom and you come back up, it's going to hide it every time. Having that taskbar open when I'm doing this, you know, it's just like, it, it's I can't even concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm just looking at it the whole time. I think I got it fixed. I know I've whined about it a lot, a lot in the last couple of races here. Um, I did Amstel Gold race yesterday. Just a small race I wanted to cover. Uh, stay up to speed. I noticed uh, Team Poland, a bunch of riders. I think there was 15 riders from uh, Poland there. I'm just calling them Team Poland for now. Obviously a bunch of Polish riders that like to ride together and a few others. Uh, that was a fun race to follow. I got to see the Cowberg. Didn't know it was the Cowberg. Someone put in the comments uh, what the climb was up to 13% at the very end. Kind of split the race apart for about a group of six that I was following closely. Uh, we're just in the shoot here, waiting for the watch button to pop up. I noticed before there was 99 people registered. I'm sure it's over 100 by now. Uh, we're going to see the usuals. Here we go. There's our watch uh, button, folks. The magical watch button that we always want to see. Let's get right into this. Now, I know a lot of folks here are going to be riding their zone, uh, zone rides. Wow, a lot of people. I'm hoping everything's going to start drawing in here because everyone seems to be in the Ruby jerseys for some reason. Quite strange at this moment. Uh, they're starting to pop in now. Let's get right to the front. I expect to see all the same names up here. Hinsburg, yep, here's the jerseys popping in, folks. Uh, probably just so much going on the screen at the time. It had trouble drawing it in. Gil Matty, I was here. Uh, there's Carol, Andy Emmo, Adam Pell, Wyverns, Elenio79, and Luca. All super powerful riders up here. The one person I don't know is uh, Simon. We've got Simon right here. Let's uh, take a little look at Simon. Simon Hammondbrock. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this rider here. Just going to have a close look at them. Wants to hang with Gil Matteo. Yeah, beautiful scenery here. I mean, if you look left or right on either side of the screen here, all you're going to see is vineyards of grapes as far as you can absolutely see. Must be like ideal growing conditions for these grapes here. Just the, these small rows of trees on the side of the road, Hensburg and Andy Ammo here. Let's pop back. I know there's two GRC riders here. 
So we've got Bashok representing uh, Team GRC, and SR71 should be here for Gene, uh, Team GRC as well. Anatso, uh, found out a bit about this rider here. I saw Anatso at the last race, I think on the Thursday race. Anatso, uh, fellow Canadian, located, uh, I think it's in uh, Prince George, BC. So over on the west side of Canada, Prince George is very, uh, I guess it's very outdoorsy in Prince George. Uh, you're basically smack dab in the center of British Columbia, forest for as far as you can see. Uh, mountains all around you, not in the high mountains, but they're, they're over on the other side of the Rockies, but uh, very rugged terrain there. Lots of outdoor stuff to do there. Okay, so that's an answer. Uh, I'm going to pop to the back. I just saw L. Roland pop up here. Keith Old Gitz. I wonder if this is, I, I, you know, I'm trying to guess. I saw Keith Old Gitz in the last race, the uh, Amstel Gold race yesterday. Robbie Dew. Uh, here's Regina. I saw Regina last time too. Female rider here. Look, this is a nice pack here. Look at all these riders going. Oh, someone, Andy Emo having a problem there. I think that's the name I saw. Hopefully I'm calling that right. Hoppy the Rockets here. Ken Kwan. Ah, I've seen this name before too. I'm pretty sure this rider messaged me. I believe so. I'm sorry if I've, you know, I'm confusing things in my brain here. Trying to remember so many names. Let's just pop... Ah, Nobby Styles is here. Team GRC. He must have got convinced to do the race. Niels Burnham. Oh, Nobby's in a great uh, group here with Tranberg. Niels Burnham. Oni. And Yaya Recky. Now, I believe it was Yaya Recky at the last Thursday race, I think, that was involved in that really, really good sprint. You know, in fact, I'm going to take a look back through my files here today and find out who it was. Uh, because... I really want to make a short. Never done one yet. Hellcat 2020 here. This is Steve. I've met Steve before. Nobby pushing forward. Yeah, looking strong, Nobby. I like this. Nobby Styles, 72. Very active member of our Discord group. Let's just move further back, folks. It's going to take a while for the action to break out. Actually, before we do that, let's we will pop to the front one last time because we are hitting the first hill here. Uh, this will start to stretch the field out right here. We got Luca on the front. Now, looks like Luca wants to play uh, cat and mouse today. This was a lenial last week. I believe it was a lenial last week that two races back to back uh, just basically walked the field. Just said, I'm going. If you want to chase me, you can, but you're going to have to catch me. Uh, about a 50 meter gap here. Carol Susick, Gil Mattia, Wyverns, Simon mm, Hammenbrook. Is that how I say it? I believe so. Ah. Here's someone else up here too, Erland Sundström. Okay, this sounds like a strong Swedish rider, maybe from Denmark, I'm not really sure. Um, sounds like that part of the world to me. Got a real good, great group here. Here comes Hinsbergen up on the back. I think this is Hinsbergen here. Yes, it is, with the white and the orange on the back. Strong group up front here, Elenio 79. And then we got our, our gap back to, Elenio's hanging back today, probably just biding his time, waiting for the hill, I believe, today. We're going to jump back to Rubber Burn Mark, Adam Pell, super strong rider, M4B, and Natso, Canadian Chorus. Here, uh, let's get on Chorus. Yep, okay, we're on Chorus there. Keith Old Gitz, Salva 13, a name I don't know yet. I'm going to figure out who they are. Stephen, Stephen Bellio, Muddy, I've seen before. Here's Niels Brenham with Yaya Recky. Let's, uh, we'll do a quick little map mode here for you folks. Yeah, I really like this here. This map mode's great. Look at the train of people here. The map's going to rotate probably very quickly. I know it did for me when I did this ride. So that hard corner at the top, which is more than a 90 degree corner, uh, we're coming into McLaren Vale itself. Uh, McLaren Vale, home to many of the, uh, the best vineyards in Australia. Um... Uh, Go to your local liquor store. You'll find the their wines from this region, you know, right where we're blasting through here. I was hoping this would spin on me. So you can see little groups ahead. There's one rider out ahead, that yellow dot, chased by the eight juggernauts riding behind. The usual characters riding right at the front. Another small gap 
to, it looks like another four or five riders. I guess the map doesn't want to rotate for me today. That's okay. Uh, yeah, and we just landed on Yaya Reki again. So I'm going to remember that name today and uh, do a little bit of uh, investigation later. Let's pop to the back, folks. Uh, so looks like we had 108 riders start. A couple people in the shoots, maybe they didn't start, but uh, we're going to bounce our way up. Some of these names. Okay, so 106th place, we've got Stefan S. pursuing Lamoria. Lamorla. Vizola here. Mm, very, uh, this has got to be a late starter pushing this kind of power. That, like, you know, if this power is consistent, four watts per kilo, I think this rider started late. Uh, to be so far back when they're riding that strong. Andy Emmo. Yeah, it was Andy that broke down. Um, looks like they've reconnected, but they might have walked away from their device here. So, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Andy broke down. Right, I was on the very front riders when Andy uh, Emmo broke down. Vizola just passed them. Uh, try Rick. Obviously, Rick uh, rides triathlons, maybe. That's my guess. Mikey73, who I've seen before. Sterney, new to me. Vanesti pursuing MD Jason. Uh, Dolph Wader, here's a mucker. Dolph Wader uh, pursuing uh, Neil himself here. Uh, mucker, 1974. I know these two are riding to a set training plan. Uh, I think they're going to ride quite light at the beginning, take it easy, take it chill. Obviously, they're doing that. I believe they're set to ride at 2 watts per kilo, and uh, then they're going to push, you know, a little bit harder up Wollonga, hold as hard as long as they can, and then right back down. Smart idea. Uh, new to me again, RMM12, Wanju, pursuing Fat Spoon Ahead who in turn is chasing Carlo Brenna. I've got a rider named Amarov here. Grupedo, I've seen before. John 2 looks like a new rider to me. Verzino. These riders are all in that McLaren Vale right now. Okay, so we've got a little group of riders here. Aha, this guy here. 1-2-2, two, two, nine, nine z I've seen this rider before. I think it was last Thursday's race. Riding with another rider I'm not sure about, Henkel 112. You're going to see a lot of new riders at times because Muckers is able to attract a lot of people coming in. Uh, it's probably a very good time slot. This 12 noon for me. So it's 12 noon in Canada right now, uh, in Alberta. This is 7 o'clock UK time. So, you know, it's like 7 o'clock in France, Belgium, the Netherlands. Uh, Spain, I believe, is probably on the same time. Yeah, is it? Maybe it's 6 o'clock at night. Maybe at 7, I'm not sure. Uh, moving further east, it's going to get later, but still, we can probably move right over to Germany, and it's only 8 o'clock at night there. Uh, that's my guess, anyways. I'm not a time zone expert, uh, just calling it as I see it. Uh, Seabulk02, uh, I've seen Henry check before here with Seabulk. Mike Hagen up the road here, here's a mucker, riding with some other muckers. Uh, we've got Andy up, Silly Sill, and Nokon. These are four regulars I see all the time. This is a nice, strong group here. I'm really getting excited to see going through Wollonga. Uh, Silly Sil, uh, she, uh, her son, Olaf, Olaf DG Degast, uh, participated in our Team GRC Sunday short race, Lava Beds, on the weekend, and did great. Uh, so great to see people getting younger riders out uh, it's unfortunate because then Silly couldn't participate with us, but um, she rides enough as it is. Let's get her son on the bike, get him away from the video games. And you know, yeah, not knocking the kid. Uh, that's my problem too is video games. So uh, yeah, um, I'm one to talk. So uh, yeah, just cruising along here. Little, uh, yeah, a little bit of a kick here. I mean, this is 5%. This is beyond false flat at this point. Let's just keep moving up through the field here. I just saw Tilma, Phil, SRC, SCRT, TI Loop, Titanium Loop, maybe. I don't know. TB Reby, oh, that's a cool name. Yeah, we got Tom again here. I see Tom a lot. I always struggle with his name. Sorry about that, Tom. Alex Astana, I've seen this rider a lot too. Nick Huddle, another one I've seen before. Kilofsky. 
Someone once told me it's not Kylovsky. Just so you know. It's Kolovsky. Good to see Kolovsky out here pushing 3 watts per kilo. Just coming out of the, st uh, the, the steepest part of that little bit of a climb there. Squalo del LP. Maumat is riding with uh, Blue Wolf here. That's a new name to me, Blue Wolf. So it's just amazing seeing all these new riders come in. Some come, some go. You know, it might be something... Well, we're not at the start of February yet, so I'm not really sure. Some people, maybe if they miss some races, perhaps what they do is they kind of wait for the next month to start to get back into the point series. Now, I know this isn't the super critical race this week. It's the Thursday race that's really critical. Uh, that's my understanding of it anyways. So, you know, I'm just trying to throw some ideas out there as to why I see so many new people on certain days. I think sometimes you see people, they come and then they're gone. Um, it's just, it just fit their slot that day. It's got nothing to do with the race series. Vita 71 here. Oh, a nice group of five here. Let's have a little map mode here. Okay, you can still see people are really bunched up. And they're just coming out of McLaren Vale now. They're on the opposite side of it. Coming out. Uh, I remember this very well. We got Vita 71 with the chairman here, Stelvio bound, Andresano, Andresano, yeah, Andresano, uh, Blinky Bob just up ahead. I've seen Blinky before. Pierce Monster, we got a monster out here. Uh, 59th place in the morning uh, at the moment, pursuing Grep. Aha! Finally, I'm seeing some names that I was looking for here, besides the Muckers friends. Uh, okay, just moving up still, Alfa, Alfio Chris 75 is uh, riding with Grep. Then we're going to bounce up to Shrew. Ganera, oh, this is a nice group here. And this is a great group here. I was actually looking for this character right here. Uh, SR71, a member of Team GRC, out today in a really nice group here. Uh, you've got two riders directly behind SR71. Fast 2 Max directly in front. Elk 65, just a little bit up the road, and then we got our friend Scriptnet. Scriptnet is a regular in the Muckers events. I don't think I've seen a race without them yet. They're always here. This must be a perfect time for them to ride. Uh, Had 75, seen this rider before too. Chasing Turnwater 7, new to me. Uh, this name, I'm going to say it as Tyne. I think that's the right way you can uh, pronounce that. Kazi Bar, Kazwan Bar, I always say Kazi Bar, uh, female rider here with Tyrone 2526 and turn, turn Vader 7, not Turn Water 7. Cruising up to Schwenk, up ahead and Schwim. I don't know why I'm putting those V's in there, but I am today. Uh, further up, Remco, I've seen Remco before with Mr. McFly. They're both here, and just up ahead, we see Sly Fly. Love to see this. Just hanging on behind Regina here. Regina, lightweight climber. Let's see, let's look forward to her doing something on the climb. Okay, still moving up. Here's Hoppy the Rocket. Uh, don't want to miss up on Peta here. And here is Bishok. Got himself in a really nice group here. We got Igor B, Sam, Samonate, Samonator, Boogie Bill 70, Ken Kwan, who I'm sure I've seen before. Nobby Styles pushing at the front of this group. Here's Ratim, Ruby Bryan, Niels Brynham. Ah, yes, I've been looking for Grosjean for a little bit here. Riding with Niels Brynham. Look at these muckers working well together. Let's get to the front, folks. Uh, yeah, this is where we want to see the action going down here. So first split's coming up. So again, like I said earlier, the real Old Wilunga Hill Strava segment it's about three kilometers long. I think it's just under three. I think it's like 2.99 or 98 kilometers with about 210 meters of climbing. It's right. It's advertised at 7%. But we do start climbing before that. We're going to start climbing at five kilometers out. Um, and I remember this course quite well. I bet you the golf course is somewhere over on the left side of us right now. If you were to, if we, um, well, maybe we can catch the uh, golf course. Not yet. Actually, maybe this is it right here. Take a look right here, folks. Yes. Man, I, I sound so excited when I'm right about something. Uh, this is the golf course right here. This little circular thing is the cricket field. 
So they're already climbing now, false flatty climbing. You can see Lucas pushing six watts per kilo here. So this is the cricket field here. And if you look closely here under the profile, it's very hard to see that left bend there. So famous. If you're on, you know, we all watch YouTube videos of racing. That street, that's where it goes off. Uh, and the buildings are so familiar to me. Uh, I love seeing this stuff. This video is done so well to really give you a feel of what it's like, you know, to the races I've seen on TV. I've never been here in real life, but it looks just the same to me. Gas station on the left-hand side. Just up ahead, you're going to see some markings in the road, kind of like uh, just a paint divider in the road, not like a cement divider. And that's where we start to slowly bend to the left. Yeah, here's the paint markings in the road. I guess there is a bit of a bump there, a bump there, a bit of a median. Let's slowly take the left-hand bend. And we're already climbing at this point. You know, it's kind of 3 4%, but it's going up. This, this to me is so famous here, this shot coming down this road. The building I'm talking about is going to be on the right-hand side of the road. I'll call it as we get there. Lucas pushing hard at the front, 6 watts per kilo, being pursued by Carol. Let's just move back a little bit here. Let's go to Wyverns. They're just kind of hanging on to the back here, moving up. Simon, okay, Simon must be a, a very good rider here to hang in here. Uh, and same with Erlen Sundstrom. We've got Hensbergen, fifth place, right behind Gil Matteo and Elenio, 79. Hensbergen, I believe, is a slightly larger but more powerful rider. How are they going to be able to handle the 7% stuff going up this hill? Uh, popping back to Luca. Uh, yeah, we're, we're okay here, folks. I haven't messed this up for you. Up on the right-hand side, you're going to see a building on the right-hand side with, uh, it's a two-story building with like square, squarish looking blobs on top. Let's put it that way. Uh, there it is right there. It's, it's it, that's over there with the two square windows. That is the old telegraph station. Must've been a hub of the community back. This big tree on the left, we just passed it. That is the start of the official old Wollonga Hill. Now, you know coming to you from plain old me uh cruising up the hill here we are now at uh you know eight nine percent right away looks like luke is going to push hard gil Matiao is with carol susick and elenio 79 we've got a group of three here chasing hard hensbergen is just falling off again like i said before hensbergen super powerful rider but is going to struggle to keep up on these nine and ten percent gradients uh, so obviously the worst of the climbing for Old Wollonga Hill is right at the start. It's going to ease off after this. So this is the worst stuff that they got to deal with. Hopefully Simon here can come up and give Hinsberg a hand. Uh, I'm looking at Simon, just over 70 kilogram rider. How about Erland here? Erland looks to be about the same thing, I'm guessing. Uh... Yeah, looks about 70 kilograms, maybe 72, something like that. So we got three, looks like stronger, more powerful riders chasing the lighter people up front. Wyverns is not out of it either. Wyverns is right here. Wy Wy Wyverns, 70 something kilograms. And Rubber Burn Mark is right here today. This is impressive. Rubber Burn Mark in uh, ninth position, just holding on to Erland. And then we've got Anatso. Yes, Anatso from Prince George, British Columbia. Rocking it out. Tackling Old Wollonga Hill. m 4 right there with Anatso. Okay, folks, you know, let's look at the powerhouses up front here. Look at Luca climb. Luca is under 70 kilograms. Flying up the hill at uh, 20 kilometers, 21 kilometers an hour. Again, it's really cool here when you see Old Wollonga Hill here. This is the old road, which probably makes it really, really good for cycling. The main highway is just over to the right. There's parts, if you were to look at the, uh, well, maybe we can do it. Why don't we just do that? Take a look at this here. See where Luca is on the map, being with the pursuers behind them? This yellow line at the top, that's the new highway. That's the road that everyone uses around here and probably bypasses this road altogether now. I mean, they virtually come together here. There's just a little stand of trees in between. So, yeah, just over these uh, dried out bushes here, whatever these are, uh, the main highway is just on that side. Luca pushing hard, uh, gradually pulling away from Gil Matiao. Uh, Carol's trying to come up. 
Alenio not riding as strong as last week. Maybe just pacing themselves today. But Luca is just throwing down the gauntlet today. Just walking away with it. And the thing about this is once you get to the top, there's a left-hand band at the top. Hard left at the top, which is actually the finish area for the uh, real old Wollonga Hill at the, uh, the official tour down under. That's where they finish. They take a hard left and the finish line is right there. Uh, what they do though is they basically go around it once, bomb down the other side, come back up and finish right there. We end up bombing down and finishing just before uh, the town of Wollonga itself. So you can see here, Luca is just slowly pulling it away. You almost got a 100 meter gap over Gil Matiao. Now, Luca's going to have a nice flattish run across the top here. And, you know, there are little bumps up, but it's more downhill than it's uphill across the top. If they can get to this downhill section first, they're probably going to walk away with it. And these other riders know that. Let's uh, go map mode, folks. See the gap? So yellow is... Uh, front runner Luca at the moment green would be uh I believe it's Gil Matiao Carol is right there uh Elenio 79 is right there the yellow is Simon the red would be Hensbergen uh pursued just by uh rubber burn mark and then we got uh you know a bit of Wyverns is there too sorry folks Wyverns is there as well Wyverns is just hanging on to this group I don't, I'm, hopefully these stronger, bigger riders can catch them across the top. And then uh, not that far back, we've got Anatso with a really strong group. M4B, Keith Old Gitz, Adam Pell, L. Rowan. Yeah, fantastic uh, racing here. Let's, uh, I just uh, want to see how close we are to the front. They're, again, this point here, they're very close to that main highway again. So you can see here, gradients are down to 5-6%. Let's see if bigger, some of the bigger, stronger riders can change, start changing places. Rubber Burn Mark has made a move and has now passed Wyverns and Hinsbergen. Actually, it's hilarious here. You can see the highway. You can see cars moving on the screen right now above us here. Take a look where my mouse is. There's cars up there. Uh, it's just it's really interesting to me to know where we are. Rubber Burn Mark putting in... a awesome ride up this hill dropping devastating power chasing uh through past and through hinsbergen and wyverns very impressive today uh you know and this climb looks like rubber burns type of stuff rubber burn mark here gotta be 60 kilogram rider so this is his bag baby right here this is his bag uh moving up well past two riders and now has Erland in his sights like take a look at this here's the gap rubber burn mark pursuing Erland and simon hard i've noticed that simon and Erland have been riding together quite a bit not sure if uh you know teammates friends in real life uh compatriots uh not really sure back to luca at the front let's just uh stick here for a second we'll go back to a little map what i can see now, if you look at the very top of the map here, this little bend here, right where my mouse is, right beside, the power is covering it right now. That's the finishing at the end of the stage. We're going to take a hard left there, and we're going to just take off. So Luca's going to have a pretty big job to try to stay away at this point. Uh, don't want to miss folks at the back. Uh, you know, we always do this. Let's just take a quick look back. See you still out there. Red Lantern, try Rick. Great job, Rick. You got this. Recover here and keep moving forward. Uh, trying to find the GRC people. We've got three of them here. Probably, here we go. Got one. we got John here, SR70 Ron, riding with Ganera. Pushing really good here too, John. Chasing Scriptnet. Yes. SR71 is pursuing Scriptnet at the moment. Uh, fast 2 max just ahead. Again, you can see just climbing all the way. Uh, and, uh, yep, Team GRC, Discord channel members, uh, Nobby Styles riding with G Regina. Regina, just, yeah, she's got a nice climb on in her. Yeah, like she is a lightweight. Uh, this is great to see. I just see Sly Fly ahead, too, with Mr. McFly. Uh, I love all these names. we got Elk65, Tyrone. We've got Grep. I'm uh, moving up through the field here. Looking for a couple of people. Uh, there's Ratamia. Here's Grosjean again. 
uh, Boogie Bill. Here's Hellcat. I'm looking for Bashok at the moment. I'm not sure if I've just jumped his name. I'm going to have to figure that out in a second. I think he was with Tranberg before. I believe so. Uh, could be wrong here, folks. I passed over. I'm going to have to have a little look around. Uh, but I don't want to miss the front. I said I'm going to show you. There's the Wollonga Hill uh, painting on the road. That's when you know it's yours. And right here is the hard left turn. So you can imagine just a couple weeks back here. Was it three weeks back? There was like a million people right here. Just banging on the banners. Uh, and now it's just deserted. It's just a little quiet little spot. Uh, so over the top here, Luca is going to have to push hard to stay away. But again, they now have a 230 meter gap over Gil Matiao. Are they going to pull him back? Because you're bombing down. When I rode this, yeah, there's a few left-handers here like this. Uh... Right before the hill starts, there's an ext another extreme, like 90 degree left hand corner. You're going to see it way in the distance. Uh, when we get to it, I'll, I'll call that out for you. When you go down that hill, it's full recovery mode. I, I coasted down at like 72k an hour, like max speed. So these riders behind are going to have to get united. So we've only got two pursu uh, pursuers. We have Gil Matteo and Carol. Carol really well, riding well today, sticking right at the front. Not getting tailed off. Uh, so they've opened up a gap too. I'm surprised Elenio got left behind. That's kind of a shocker to me. Uh, maybe Elenio is riding a different style today. Just riding to power. You never really know. Right? So that's my little disclaimer here. If I say something about someone riding not well. Or it's shocking to me. Or whatever. It's just because I've watched Elenio ride before. And that's the thing you need to know is you don't really know what someone else is doing out here when they're riding. They could be on a recovery ride. They could be coming back from an injury. Uh, they could be a number of things. They could be just like, I don't even care today. I just want to get the ride. I just want to get the challenge done. Could be something like that. Uh, but yeah, here we see Elenio powering right back up. What I think is most impressive right now is rubber burn mark. Look at this animal go. So rubber burn mark has caught and passed Simon and Erland, but they're coming back around him now. Looks like we got a nice three rider coalition here. Uh, this is just going to amplify the watt bombages coming out at the end. Uh, incredible stuff here. Hensbergen's not that far back either. Hensbergen needs to drop some serious uh, power here. Roll across the top. I think Hensbergen has the ability to just, you know, jam some huge watts down their throats. And uh, come right back. Got a strong rider with him too. Wyverns. Wyverns, another continual front end contender. And we've got Keith Olgitz here. And I'm a, I got to say it now. This has got to be Keith, a, uh, Keith H. Has to be Keith H. I can tell by the riding style. I can tell by where they're positioned in the race. I also know Keith is a member of Olgitz. I think he did a quick name change. Um, hopefully this is Keith. I believe it is can't really see on the profile oh who's uh, not so coming up hard on keith look at this keith get that wheel do not let this canadian get away from you do not let it happen come on yeah there we go keith you got this yes look at him a little counter move here like oh yeah you want this okay let's go and that so and that's so counters too. This is fantastic here. Just a little bit of battle within the battle. We're nowhere near the finish and we're already getting rammy. I love it. Okay, further back, we've got uh, M4B. I always see M4B, you know, probably top 20% of the race, it seems. Always up there with L. Roland. Uh, L. Roland's just finished the climb. I'm not really sure what kind of a rider L. Roland is. I've seen them in one race before that was very flat and very fast. And they were a front-end contender in that. Uh, maybe the hills just aren't their strong suit. Maybe they're more of a flats rider or a sprinter. You know, the more I get to know about people, the better. Adam Pell, another really, really strong rider. Uh, you know, probably one of Mucker's top-end riders, I would say. Uh, with Niels Brenham, just right behind them here. These two should get together. Adam and Neil should get together. Uh, so they're ahead. Salva, this is someone I don't know, riding with Tranberg. Uh, I think they've just passed the paint in the road, or they're just coming up to it now. Am I right? 
oh wow, I'm not right very often, but here we go. The paint is in the road, right? Let's move back. I want to see uh, some friends. We got Bike Rider 9 here. Manuel 1303. Yeah, there's a nice group of people here. Look at this action. Manuel 1303 being pursued by Yaya Reki. I love this name. I love saying it. Yaya. Uh, so they're coming up to the paint too. We got Boogie Bill. Not that far back either. Boogie Bill 70 moving along very nicely. Robbie Dew. Bel Stephen Bellio. Muddy PM. Here's Hellcat 2020. Oh, Oni's making a move around Hellcat right now. Again, not really sure what kind of riders these are. Uh, Alfio Christ, we've seen that rider earlier, 75. Grep, Sfard, Igor B, um, Ratim, Grosjean. Let's have a little map view, see how they're scattered out. So the hill just blew the entire field apart here. Like it was like apocalyptic on these riders. As soon as they started the real segment of Old Belonga, the 10% hit them. Riding at, you know, high speed all the way on that false flat roly-poly stuff just obliterated everything. Uh, so now everyone's smashed apart here on this climb. Uh, you can see here the riders going around the corner at the top. Those people are quite relieved. They know they're running for the finish now. Uh, we got Rats him here. We're just going to keep moving back. Aha, here he is. We've got Bashok on screen, working his way up the climb, getting through the worst of it. Yep, Bashok's looking good here. Bashok is not a climber, more of a flat, all-out sprinter, uh, but doing a very nice job here. Hanging in 37th place, just chasing behind Hoppy the Rocket. And uh, Tyrone pursuing them with Ruby Bryan. Let's keep working back. Sly Fly again. Pavel M78. Shout out to Pavel M78. New rider to me. Nice to meet you. We got Shvim here, who I have seen before. Again, I said Shvim. I don't know why. It's Shim. Stop saying that. Uh, Mr. McFly. Tying. Teen? Yeah, maybe it's Teen. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Kazibar coming up with a uh, Had. Shrew. Turnvater. Nobby Styles, 52nd place. Just getting ahead of that script knit. Uh, pursuing Shvank at the moment. Uh, John should be coming up. We got Fast 2 Max, Remco, Ganera. I think John would. Yeah, here we go. These two, Ganera and SR71, were riding together before. So Ganera's just snuck away from John a little bit. Uh, Andy Emmo uh, just pursuing SR71. Just want to see if anyone's still out there struggling. Uh, hopefully, everyone's. Yes, we got someone here. Ollie Mo. Doing great. Uh, this is a super late starter, obviously. That's all I can guess here because they are quite far back. They are uh, five kilometers back behind uh, Try Rick, who was the last rider before. So Ollie Moe is just a late entrance to the race, but uh, good to see them out here. So take a look here, folks. Luca is still ahead. Luca still has the lead. Luca is accelerating away at the moment. Um, again, this is all downhill stuff here. You know, 2 3%. You're going to be flying here over 50K an hour. Uh, Luca just made that move at the perfect time. Jumped them at the base of Wolonga, actually through town, and, you know, got a 50 meter gap, capitalized on that, and at the top it was over 300 meters. Now we're out to almost 660 meters. Uh, it's going to just keep growing at this point. It, you know, once they start that descent, it's going to be out over a kilometer. That's what I think. Basically, yeah, so what I'm saying is when Luca is going down the descent at some point they're going to be a kilometer ahead of second third place so we've only got two pursuers here here they are carol and gil Matteo. when i say that i mean two in the pursuing group chasing them not really sure how hard they're going here i mean they are bombing downhill so it's gonna be hard to hold big power here uh erlin sundstrom though yes erlin's moved up as well Erlens has moved up and passed Elenio. So Elenio is on a whole different strategy here today, I believe. Uh, but yeah, Rubber Burn Mark. You know, this is really cool to see Rubber Burn Mark. I've seen Rubber Burn Mark, I think, for two races now. Uh, and, you know, hanging 10th, 11th, 12th place, I believe. I'd have to check the results. Uh, this is uh, Rubber Burn really working, moving well here. So I guess he got into the break at the right time and just feels like they're on fire today uh 
basically at the start of Wollonga, Rubberburn Mark was in 10th or 11th position and has just, you know, picked up seven spots. Now, they do have three or four good riders with them here. We've got Erland just ahead. We've got Elenio 79 and we've got Simon. Simon and Erland, new riders to me, but they look very strong. So this is a nice little group. Uh, let's take a little look at the map. You can see here now green dots. That's Luca. Just absolute. Oh, sorry. I think Luca might be off the map here. Um, I'm going to have to do this now. We've got Gil Matteo here. Here's Luca. Yeah, it is Luca. Luca's bombing downhill now, as you can see. Just flying. No one else is on screen with him at this point. Uh, already at 800 meters ahead. The other folks are just Carol and uh, Gil are just trying to get off the plateau. They're just trying to get off. So they should start bombing down right away. Okay, maybe I was a little bit optimistic on my guess, but we're out to 900 meters. Yeah, you know, pretty close to a kilometer, right? So they're flying downhill right now. So now that gap should stop. Should start to, you know, even out a little bit. There is a little bit of a flatter section in the middle of the descent. You can see it on the profile. Um, looks like Luca just got through it. And uh, Carol and uh, Gil here are going through the steepest stuff. Beautiful views in the background there. You can actually see the ocean from here. Uh, when I did my video last time, I spent a lot of time just pausing here and having a nice little gander uh, at what was out there. Really cool stuff to see though. So, are, can these two time trial back on to Luca? I don't think so. I don't think the end, the finish here is tough enough for them to catch back on. So we're going to let them do their thing. Uh, if it comes to a sprint here, I would put my money on Gil in a heartbeat. Uh, I've seen his sprint. So I think first, second, and third are kind of determined at this point. Uh, good to see Elenio back in the group here because I thought Elenio was falling off the back a little bit. I guess what it is, we just got some... New folks at the front. We have two brand new riders for me, uh, Simon and uh, Erland. Uh, and Rubberburn Mark, who I've seen before, has just missed those key opportunities, those key breaks when you've got to put the power down and get in. You know, I, I see it happen to myself. I'll see a 20, 30 meter gap with four riders ahead of me. And I'm like, if I don't go this second, when my heart's at 190, I will never catch them again. So it's kind of a gamble. You just go and you hope you get back on. And when you feel the loving embrace of the draft bar start to show up, you're like, yes, I did it. Uh, you know, you just got to pray that they don't counterattack you when you get on the back. Uh, but if you just kind of wait to attack, to jump back on, you're never going to get there. Uh, so I think Rubber Burn was in all the right spots at the right time today. Again, we're just, you know, here we can see we're flying downhill. Everyone's getting some nice recovery here. Hopefully they're all bringing their heart rates down. Uh, fifth place, Elenio, Simon, Erland. And at that point now, we're like a kilometer back to Hensbergen and uh, Wyverns. I thought these riders would have been closer to the front. The hill did a lot of damage to them. Uh, moving back, Keith Old gets doing strong, uh, very well again, riding strong. Anatso is right with him too. Anatso uh, looks like quite the uh, impressive rider as well. Anatso looks to be. Oh, can we figure out? Yeah, maybe seven. Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe a lightweight climber actually. Anatso. Maybe 60 to 70, folks. I'm not thinking straight right now. Uh, we're going to back. Go back to the front here. Luca's out front. Uh, 700 meter gap over Carol. So they have brought back a little bit. So the hill can be deceptive. It can make it seem like, yeah, they're so far ahead. But you got to realize the riders behind are going to get the benefit of the hill too and blast downhill and start to, you know, bring some of that rubber band accordion effect back. Uh, it stretches and grows and comes back with the terrain and where the riders are respectively on that terrain. So this is just kind of a straight shot now, I believe, back on the course. If we take a look at the map here at this point, it should be just a straight road. I remember this quite well. And then there'll be a hard left again. And then we're back on the course where we were originally. So we're just doing a big, we're going to connect back onto the loop we've already ridden. So Luca's got a huge lead here at this point. Uh, Carol and Gil are slowly bringing it back, but we've only got four kilometers to go. 
can they bring back 600 meters and four kilometers? Yeah, they could, but I don't really see it happening. How's rubber burn doing? Rubber burn Mark, Elenio, Simon, Erland, they're all here together. This, this is going to be a nice sprint finish here, I believe. And I don't know enough about any of the riders. I know Elenio is an incredible climber. So I got to think that maybe they're not the strongest sprinter. And I'm just throwing that out there. I could be totally wrong. Um, but, you know, just out of these four right now, I would say the person that's not a sprinter is Elenio. Uh, doesn't mean that they can't sprint. Rubber burn, get back on. Rubber burn's just got a bit of a gap here. You can see it happening. It's these kinds. Of, yeah, good job. Good job right here. I love seeing this kind of stuff. You can see here there's a bit of a gap, and now Rubber Burn is out of the draft. Rubber Burn is going to have to like dig deep, and they are. Look at the numbers go up on screen, folks. Uh, rubber Burn was pushing 8 watts a kilo there, knowing slight tactical error there, and they just got gapped off the back. But this is so, like such an experienced move here by Rubber Burn. Saw it happening, reacted, back on. Gadoosh! Like... I love seeing that. Um, yeah, Rubber Burn could have just been distance off the back there and been riding alone. Uh, so uh, very tactical, smart racing there by Rubber Burn Mark. This is great to see. I love this stuff. Uh, so yeah, we still got four riders close together. And you know, look at this here now. Elenio is going to have to do the same thing. Elenio has to get back on now. At 12 meters out, Elenio is barely getting, I don't think they're getting any draft at all. Elenio is going to have to push hard here. Thankfully, it's a bit of a downhill. So, yeah, Elenio is able to drag themselves back on. Didn't have to put out the same kind of power as Mark did, though. Like, Elenio got back on there with 4 and 5 watts per kilo versus Mark's 8. Uh, so, yeah, we got these four back together. We got Lucas still out front. Uh, 500 meters back to Gil Matteo and Carol. Carol's riding, in, like, really strong today. In the hunt. Great job, Carol. Uh, let's just uh, have a little, few little pop backs here. Got to keep a line in the front. Got Wyverns, uh, next group back, riding with Hensbergen. Two very strong riders together here. That's going to be a little bit of a sprint finish, I believe. Uh, coming back further, this is Keith Olgetz and Inazzo. Another two-rider group here, working well together. Adam Pell, riding solo. Uh, I, actually, I jumped back a little bit too far there. Uh, we've got... Uh, Behind Anatso, it's 275 meters back to M. Forby and uh, L. Roland. M. Forby putting in a bit of a dig here, it looks like. Can L. Roland react? Oh yeah, we're good here. So we got another two riders. We're going to have a lot of fun sprint finishes today. Adam Pell here is riding solo, 600 meters ahead of Neil Brenham, who's in a nice pack with Salva and Tranberg. A further 500 meters back to Yaya Reki in a nice group with Boogie Bill, Chorus, Bike rider six, uh, sorry, bike rider E9. I might have said 69 earlier, thinking it was your age uh, or the year you were born. And uh, further stepping back to manual 1303, just finishing off the hill. Stephen Bellio, Robbie Dew, with uh, Muddy PM27. Hellcat looking good here, just blasting down that hill. Oni, Sfard, Grep. Grosjean, everyone's just cruising down the hill. Igor B. You know, they've done all their workout today. They've done the climb. It's just a nice, you know, nine kilometer downhill, flat finish stuff. Okay, we got some problems here. Alfio Christ has disconnected. They were in a really nice group too. Kin Kwan. Okay, so I believe we should be seeing Bashok here. Bashok was in 37 before, now in 38th. Oh, yes, we got a nice group here. Four riders together here. This will be a nice finish at the end. I'll be keeping a close eye on that one. Let's get right back to the front. Luca's coming to the finish now. I remember this well. So Luca's taking the hard left-hand corner. Let's see if we can actually see that on the map. No, we can't. Uh, look here. You could just see Gil Matteo and Carol just off the edge of the screen here, if you look on the right side of my screen. Uh, who am I seeing here? Why is there a yellow dot in the middle of the screen? That's very strange to me. You know what that is? That is a, a late starting rider that's way at the back. That's It does show up that way. I've noticed that. 
Carol coming to the finish here. Uh, sorry, Luca. So we've got Carol and Gil coming to the finish. If you go back to map mode, I discovered this last time. They're coming up on the yellow dot. Look at the closing speed here. The yellow dot does not show up on screen just to make it not confusing, I think, for the riders. They're actually passing someone that's way at the back. Uh, pretty interesting. Probably the smart way to do it. So Luca's finished in first place. Great job by Luca underscore M-A. Now we've got Carol and Gil Matteo. Like I said, the $10 I have. Oh, Gil's, uh, Carol's going out early. Probably knows they got to jump Gil early if they're going to avoid that 14, 15 watt per kilo sprint at the end of a ride. Can Gil come back around with a 15 meter gap at this point? Not really sure. Uh, Gil might have left this too long. I believe he has now. There's only 100. Yeah, Gil's left it. Gil's just cruising now. Just said, yep, you got this. Fair enough. Handshakes and everything, right? Uh, Simon and Erlen coming with Rubber Burn Mark. Oh, they've just walked away a little bit from uh, Rubber Burn Mark. Fourth and fifth place. New riders for me today finishing up. Rubber Burn Mark, incredible finish in sixth spot. Uh, moving up a lot. Elenio 79, yep, was uh, not willing to fight those three for the sprint finish. Moving back to Wyverns. And Hinsbergen here. Hammering towards the finish. Hensbergen taking a little bit of a breather here. Not putting up much power at all. I think they're just in cruise mode now, folks, to be honest. Maybe they're going to wind it up here now. Yeah, okay, we're back about 3 watts per kilo now. Wyverns and Hensbergen. Yeah, again, Tuesday race, people are probably riding to power, heart rate zones. So it is what it is, right? Some people are going to be racing, others aren't. I can see a Natsu and... Uh, Keith are still like right on each other's heels. Okay, so there goes Wyverns. 13 watts per kilo going. Hensbergen reacting with 12.2. Uh, Wyverns just got the jump. 13 meters back though. Hensbergen is just cranking up the, 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 the turbo diesel. Look at this coming through. Holding the power longer. Yes, the big diesel going. Wyverns is trying to react desperately but Hinsbergen is holding the momentum. Wyverns just let the throttle off there, and Hinsbergen comes around for eight spot. Excellent sprint there, boys. Excellent sprint there. I loved it. Uh, yep, so we've got an Atso and Keith here now. Only six meters separating them. What do we got here? An Atso powering up right now. Six watts per kilo. Sneaking up behind Keith. Is Keith paying attention here? We're only, uh, well, we're still a little bit of ways out. A little bit too early to go yet or not. So let's hold off for a second here. It is not time for the mother of all bombs to be dropped on Keith. We're going to have Moabs flying everywhere very soon. Uh, I think Keith is going to fight for this position. Keith is quite racy. Uh, and, you know, not far, too far back. It looks like El Roland is sneaking up on them. Where did this come from? I didn't think he was that close before. So they've been really closing the gap. L roll and an M4B uh, behind. Uh, these two are just kind of cruising to the finish. We're now 400 meters out. I, you know, duh, 150. I expect Watts to go flying. Let's see what's going to happen here. 300 meters. They're eyeballing each other right now. Who's going to make the first move at this point? And there goes Anatso. Anatso said, "Yep, yeah, it is time to smash." Hulk smash, 8 watts per kilo. Keith is coming back at 9 watts per kilo. Look at Keith go. Ah, photo finish there, folks. We got a photo finish. L. Roland coming into the shoot now. Gapped away from him for you. These two riders were together before. Excellent job by N. Roland to get away for their position. And then we have uh, M. Forby coming in alone. Yeah, that was a great finish by Keith uh, there to come back around. I don't think... He got him at the last part there. Um, we'll see in the stats later uh, or the Muckers blog later tonight. Uh, Adam Pell coming in now, 14th position. So there's a couple riders that have already finished ahead. Everyone's got big gaps here now. Let's just have a quick peek. Yeah, so here you can see Adam coming in. Back to Niels Brynham. So there's these guys are just going to cruise across the line now unless they want to set some power records or something. And by cruise, I mean still ride at 3.5 to 4 watts per kilo. Like uh, Adam is here now pushing out to five at times. Uh, yeah, just cruising, taking it nice and easy here, right? Uh, excellent ride by Adam. Niels Burnham coming in alone. 
Salva chasing after uh, Niels Rinnum, but the race is over now. 600 meters to go. Not going to catch him. Not a ride out of Niels. Uh, further 150 back. We've got Tranberg coming in. Being pursued by yeah, the, the Yaya Reki riding nice and strong. 5 watts per kilo at this point. Uh, Yaya looks like kind of a big, stronger, powerful rider. Boogie Bill chasing Yaya. What's going to happen here? That, that's why I think Yaya was uh, keeping the power high. He knows Boogie Bill is on his heels. It's only 16 meters. What can happen here? Does Boogie Bill have the afterburners ready? Is the pin ready to be pulled out of that hand grenade and just go boom? Uh, so yeah, Yaya is just slowly creeping away. Just holding a little bit more power than Bill all the time. Uh, so I believe they're going to finish this way. We're 250 meters to the finish. I think Bill's pretty happy with his performance today. Great job. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic ride. Course coming in just behind them. Nipping at their heels. Bike rider E9. Following up for 21st place. Manuel 1303 will be coming in 22nd. Jumping back 300 meters, we've got Stephen Bellio and Robbie Dew. Seen uh, Robbie Dew in a couple of races, I believe. These two are both riding nicely, you know, just around 3, 3.5 watts per kilo at times. A little bit of a breather here, though. Going downhill a bit. Don't stop and get any grapes out of those fields. Uh, let's see if uh, these two want to get racy at the end. Uh, behind them, I see Muddy PM27 and Hellcat. A little bit of a dogfight. They're coming up quick, too. So let's keep an eye on these two. We're just going to jump back to Muddy PM. Yeah, you can see them here. Muddy PM and Hellcat 2020. Could be riding together. Could be just doing their thing. Uh, coming to the finish here, uh, less than four. We're just getting to 400 meters for these two riders. You know, nice little downhill. They can start getting some speed up. Look at the speed now. It's 48 kilometers an hour. A little bit of momentum. You know, if you jump and smash some watts here, you can get like a 10 kilometer an hour speed burst. Like virtually like within seconds. These two like they're having a nice uh, friendly ride to the finish, I believe. I don't think anything's going to happen here now. Uh, looks like Robbie Dew's putting a bit of a dig in it. Nine watts per kilo. Good job, Robbie. Just jumped Steven at the last second. Uh, Hellcat, Muddy PM, both pushing pretty hard here. Five and a half, six watts per kilo. Seven watts per kilo coming out of Hellcat. It'll finish like that. Uh, so Hellcat just finished behind there. It's amazing to see people pushing this hard at the end. So Oni D, uh, 27th place. Ah, uh, yeah, Alfio Chris, 75. So this is the rider I saw disconnected before. They disconnected again. So they must have been repositioned because I think they were placed pretty high. Uh, so people are going to start coming by. This rider is probably desperately trying to reset their router, whatever it may be. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. I'm messing around here. Oni D being pursued. See, here's Alfio Chris back at it. With Grep coming in, 8 watts per kilo. Nice job, Grep. Grosjean chasing Grep. And Sfard coming up. 11 watts per kilo, folks. This is going to be a battle to the finish. Sfard and Grosjean. Muckers riders coming around Grep. And we got Sfard, Grosjean, Grep all finishing together. Impressive finish there. So when you saw Alfio Chris 75 disconnected, that rider... It, from my experience in the past, it's been that when you disconnect because you got bad internet, hey, my internet's terrible here, uh, keep riding. Just keep riding because the way it used to work in the past, I don't know if it still does, but from what I saw happening with Alfio there, if you downloaded the route, and I think you have to have the route downloaded, you know, that route's living on your machine. You're putting your performance. You're generating your power, your cadence, and all that kind of stuff. It's still being all communicated to the software. When your internet blips back on, it, Ruby will reposition you as to where you were. So do not give up. And I think that's probably the single biggest reason why you should download a route. Is that it's going to remember where you are when you do come back to the race and zzz, right back to the front. So just stare at your machine and keep putting power down, even if you're not moving. Because on screen, it'll look like you're not moving. Ken Kwan finishing here. Uh, sorry, Ken, I got distracted there. I think Ken 
might actually might be a Canadian, I believe too. Uh, maybe that's a stretch. Um, but yeah, so if you're ever in those situations, oh yeah, here we go. Bashok, eight wa 10 watts a kilo here, Bashok. Nice job. Leading the way across the finish, takes out Ratim and Hoppy the Rocket. Excellent finish. Sorry, uh, what a terrible teammate I am. I should have been following that closer, but I did catch it. Elk 65, you're coming in solo with Sly Fly. Not that far behind. You know, everyone's finishing strong here. No one's, you know, yeah, I would be the worst finisher here. Uh, not saying dead last, but I'm the one that would be pedaling across the finish at 1.7 watts per kilo. Uh, not saying that's bad at all. Just saying I kind of like just give up at the end when I'm by myself. I was like, ah, yeah, whatever. Good enough. Uh, I find a lot of riders in these uh, races are pushing hard all the way in. You can still see Sly Fly pushing like four or five watts per kilo at the end. There's no one near him. Just doing a nice finishing ride, ride here. Uh, Ruby Bryan finishing nicely as well. Putting a kick in. We got Had 75 pursuing Ruby Bryan. Pavel M78. That was a new rider for me today. Uh, yeah, all going to be solo finishes. Mr. McFly, are you going to catch up with Pavel? I don't think so at this point. A uh, little bit too big of a gap. Oh yeah, this looks good here. We got Kazibar and Teen slash Tyne riding together. Uh, Andy Emos coming in too. Shrew. Do I have time for Matthew, folks? Do I have time for Matthew? Yeah, look at them all coming in. This is great. Uh, so Kazibar, excellent work here. This, I think this is the first female finishing here. I believe. I could be totally wrong. Staying out ahead of Teen. Yep, keeping the gap on Teen. Finishing together. Andy Ammo coming in. Andy Ammo riding a lot uh, lower power today. Just probably on a heart rate ride. Scripnet coming in. I saw Shrew finish there. Sorry about that, Shrew. Missed you. Uh, oh, here's Regina. Yeah, riding great. Scripnet putting his, uh, a little bit of a sprint at the finish there. Trying to catch someone, I believe. Don't think they did, but uh, nice job, Scripnet. Turn Vodder 7. Coming in solo with Nobby Styles, Team GRC member, cruising to the finish here, taking it chill. I think Nobby might have done another ride this morning too, just so you know. Uh, so great job by Nobby. We got Shim. Notice I didn't put the V in there that time. Uh, but what's funny is Schwenk. I'm gonna keep. I'm putting the V in in that one. Uh, is chasing after Shim. They've been riding together all day. These two have been riding together all day. Uh, Shim and Schwenk uh, pursued by, hey, here's another GRC member. We got John here, SR71, riding strong. I believe John had a ride this morning too already. So great to see them out here doing the old Wollonga Hill with the muckers chasing Remco. Uh, 33 meter gap. We've only got 200 meters to go. If I was John, I would be in cruise mode at this point. They've already gapped away. They were riding with Ganera before. Ganera dropped John on the hill. Uh, nope, John says that's it. Eight watts a kilo coming out. Launching, chasing. Yeah, great job, John. You didn't have to even do that, but great to see there's a kick at the end. Uh, so, story time, folks. Uh, earlier on, John was side by side with Ganera. Ganera dropped John on Wollonga Hill itself. John fought back and in the end took Ganera out. So great battle there between those two. Uh, great ride, Ganera. Let's see Ganera finishing here. Oops, I don't like when I do that because then I miss people. Uh, Fast 2 Max finishing solo. Great job. We got Nakon. I see this rider a lot. Going to finish solo as well. Uh, Momat coming in. Uh, only 70 meters ahead of uh, Squalo and Tom. But I think enough of a gap to stay away. Uh, we've got Squalo and Tom here looking a little bit racy. See what they got left in the tank. Currently uh, just over half a click out to the finish. A little bit of that downhill now. They're going to start accelerating. Looks like Squalo is going to try to get it over the hill first and start accelerating away from Tom. They're both muckers riders, so... They're probably working together. I'm just making this a lot more than it actually is, but uh, it's fun. And we got Kyle coming up behind them, Kalofsky, with the uh, Muckers Worldwide logo in his name. Great to see that. Great ride by Kyle here. 
So Kyle is 100 meters behind Tom and Squallow. Nothing's going to change there. Uh, almost a 300 meter lead on Blinky Bob. Let's just sit on uh, Kyle here for a while to watch him finish. I'll just pop away right before the finish so I don't get trapped in that start uh, finishing shoot, I should say. Kyle finishing in 63rd. Great job. Back to Blinky Bob. He's got a 100 meter gap over V Zola. Did I see this rider at all today? I'm not even sure. I might have missed him early on. But hey, here's Andy up. See this rider all the time. With Silly Sill. So I think there was a lot of people here today doing a 2 watt per kilo ride. 3 watts per kilo all the way up Wollonga. And then back to 2 watts per kilo. So that's why you're seeing this. A lot of people here are riding a certain power. Uh, Silly Sill, great to see her again. Hopefully her son can make our next race. Sylvia, when you see this, our next race is only just over 5 kilometers long. It's butter tubs. Your son would be perfect for it. Short, sprinty, all out blast. Let's do it. Get Olaf back on the bike. Okay, so Sylvia's finishing. We got Jimmy A. I uh, don't think I saw this rider either today. Sorry about that. 68th place. Uh, Mike Hagen coming in. Another, uh, just a... You know, low power ride for Mike today. Great job. Andre Sano coming in right now. Pushing harder than the rest. Fighting for position. Group Hato. Another solo finisher. So yeah, you can see again. Let's just go map mode. You can see the gaps. Actually, quite a big gap here now back to Mikey 3R. Hey, but they're all taking that bend I wanted to talk to you about. So here's where you bend back onto the course. So when I did this route, I was back here, coming this way, and I saw a yellow dot ahead of me. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't see them on the road as I'm catching them. That's because they were a rider that, had, that was completing the loop and was ahead of me. So even though you see their yellow dot on the map, you don't see it on the road ahead of you. You won't see that rider out there. I don't know if people will like that or don't like it. Uh, Mikey 3R, Stelvio bound here together. Let's, uh, okay, and then we got Henry Check, we got the chairman, we got Mucker here. Now, I know the training strategy today, Mucker's on a two watt per kilo ride here today, folks. So, looks like the numbers are sitting right where they should be. Uh, Dolph and Mucker said they were going to be riding together today. Dolph just putting a little bit of power down here to just catch up with Mucker on that little bit of a hill. And now they're heading back up a little bit on a bit of a false flat. Uh, but yeah, these two had planned to ride together all day. So, they're sticking to their plan. Great job. Lamorla. New rider to me. Uh, getting close to the finish here. I think they're getting ready to take the hard left corner coming up. Let's just see if that's right. Yep, there they are. There's that left corner. Uh, being pursued by Blue Wolf. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe it's Tibby Ribby. It is Tibby Ribby and Blue Wolf. And it looks like at this point, uh, Blue Wolf wants to pull away a bit over Tibby Ribby. So they're running together. So map mode again. There's the straight. There's that corner. This little town here. That's McLaren Vale. Uh, we're going to pop back to Carlo. Carlo Brenna here. Doing the last little straightaway before the left-hander. Then you're home free. Mikey 73. Moving along nicely. We've got Phil. Who can see Mikey just up in the distance here. This, that's nothing. That's only 50 meters. There could be something happening there, folks. Uh, looks like Fat Spoon just broke down. So Fat Spoon, take your time. Get your internet back up and running. That's. I'm sure that's what's happening. This used to happen to me all the time. I would have these disconnects. So, and I, so where are we here? So Fat Spoon is in 87th right now. Now, if they downloaded their route, they could still keep pedaling right now. And when they reconnect, it's going to reposition them up the road as they, you know, they'd be ahead of those three, four riders that just went by. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on that and see if that's going to happen. Henkel, 112. Well, hello, Henkel. This is the first time I've seen you today. Good to see you out here. Uh, we've got Phil just ahead chasing Mikey still. Phil is trying to drag Mikey back. Closing the gap. Phil's pushing nice here. I mean, Phil's doing a great job here. Uh, three watts per kilo later in the race. Excellent ride. Uh, so yeah, Henkel's here as well. 
Stefan S is pursuing Henkel. I think Stefan S is going to catch Henkel here now. Uh, we've got Verzino. These are the riders that all just pass by uh, Fat Spoon, who has broken down the side of the road, who doesn't look like they've made connection again. Then we've got Tilma, still out there. Uh, Tilma is just finishing the downhill descent right now. Uh, I just wanted to see if I missed anyone here. Oh, I just missed uh, Mucker and Dolph finish. Next rider coming in will be Lamorla for 80th position. Lots of riders here finishing today. You know, sometimes you see a bunch of people register, three quarters of those people start, and then, you know, only two thirds of those actually finish. Uh, we're going to get big numbers here today. You know, here we are in. Uh, so Tilma is the 90th person on the road. We're gonna, probably going to have 90 finishers minimum. Uh, we've got Gian here. Just starting the downhill descent. I, and I think there's still more people behind. MD Jason coming atop of the top of the plateau. And Sterney. And there's Tri Rick is still there. Tri Rick has conquered Old Wilonga Hill. Great job, Rick. Uh, I just want to call you Trick for some reason. But it's Tri Rick. Uh, yeah, so Rick is out there. Conquered Old Wilonga Hill. It is home free from here rick this is all yours uh so rick is in 97th place uh we do have a couple of breakdowns so 96 uh, and a couple more breakdowns still ahead on course i hope these people get back in looks like we're going to have 93 94 finishers in today's event very impressive here's telma oh sorry folks uh i keep doing this i don't know why blue wolf finishing now with Tibby Ribby in pursuit. Carlo Brenna. Cruising on in. But Mikey is coming hard. Mikey's a mucker. Uh, we're down to 800 meters. Uh, Mikey's moving a lot faster than Carlo Brenna right now. Let's just keep a little eye on this. I think you can actually really see it well on map view. Look at Mikey coming up now behind Carlo can Carlo really act this? Mikey's putting out roughly two times the power that Carlo is. So I expect to see a pass here coming up. Mikey having a really nice finish. Mikey uh, 73 is a lightweight rider compared to myself. I don't know a lot about Carlo at this point. Uh, good job by both riders though. Ride your own pace, right? Uh, don't be chasing people if you don't have the ability uh, so great job here. And if you notice today too, Mr. IT, that dumb little taskbar hasn't been popping up on the screen. So like I said before, okay, so Mikey's going to finish here uh, with Carlo is only 23 meters behind. We're going to back up to Phil. If you ever have that problem and you're trying to, you know, uh, watch stuff, whatever it is, play games, go to your task manager, restart your Windows Explorer. It fixed it for me. And it was a hint online that I found. Uh, I take full credit for it though. Uh, because I'm telling you, uh, Stefan S coming in will be solo. Being chased by Hankel 112. Looks like Hankel wants something here. Getting a little fighty. Stefan is slowly reacting to this move, going, hey, who's coming up behind me here? Uh, yeah, this is really cool to see right now. After this, folks, I'm probably going to call it short. We're over, we're well over an hour now. I'm going to get this uploaded. Uh, I will say this all now. I'm probably going to just put this one up tonight. Um, I may be uh, preoccupied tomorrow at my usual time, so I won't be doing a live. But so that, you know, you can watch at your convenience. Yep, Hankel wants to get after Stefan here, uh, trying to power up. But there's, there's just not enough left. Stefan's reacting. Uh, so those two are going to finish. Got, we got Verzino coming in. Great job, Verzino. And then we're back to Fat Spoon, who looks like they can't get reconnected, which is very unfortunate. Uh, and actually Tilma's now coming up behind Fat Spoon. So at this point here, Verzino is 88. That puts Tilma at 89. Gian's going to be 90. Then we still have MD Jason, Sterney out there, Tri Rick. Tri Rick's just catching a breather. Uh, we're going to probably have 93 finishes, folks. Uh, we'll just go back to Gian here for a second. 
John, you got this cruising to the finish. Excellent ride on your part. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to put this up today, which obviously you're going to see today. So it really makes no point why I'm saying this. Uh, hey, someone asked me, would I ever do like actual live live streaming? Which, of course I would. I can do this. No problem. Uh, how should I call it? Uh, the significant other, the wife, uh, the one that's at work right now. She brought me home a little Starlink package last night. So, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, reading some stuff about that, and I will be getting Starlink set up at home here, uh, which will give me easily the ability to live stream everything from now on if I want, which I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do, but I'd like to. I'd like to do certain events live. Uh, some videos I just like to throw up, you know, like just throw them up whenever I can. So I think I'm going to get this one up. And, you know, I'm still working on another video. I've been working on it since Saturday. I, I still want to get up to that one too, but life gets in the way and uh, I'll do my best to get it up, uh, these two videos today. Uh, no promises, uh, but thank you for watching. Don't forget about Team GRC's SSR, that stands for Short Sunday Race coming up. This week we picked out uh, Buttertub's Pass. It's going to be like the ultimate obliteration of your legs. Like if you can walk after Buttertub's Pass, you did something wrong. That's what I want everyone to feel like when they're done. Uh, basically, tell everyone that you know, I've got my ride at whatever time it is. After that, you need to leave me alone because I will be like at death's door. That's how hard I'm going to ride. That's the kind of stuff we want to do. And everyone just ride to your ability, whatever it is. If you want to ride 10 watts a kilo at the start and blow yourself out, go for it. I'm going to try to be there with you. If you want to ride at one and a half watts per kilo all the way, perfect. Do it. Um, I will catch you in the race video and you will be in the spotlight. Uh, so anyways, folks, I'm going to end it now. You know I'm a rambler. Uh, excellent race today. I'm going to see you guys all again real soon. See you later.